this video, I'm going to be unlocking every single achievement in LEGO Indiana Jones. Let's go! So just like every other LEGO game in existence, the first step to getting all the achievements is to play the story. In our first mission, we had to escape this falling boulder in the last temple, which was actually pretty tricky as I died a few times. But we eventually made it, fixed up the plane and got our first achievement for completing the first story level. And then we moved to the second mission where we had to make our way through some snowy mountains. Oh no! But this was actually not a hassle whatsoever for a guy like me. Alright, so uh, we, we got an achievement for completing the second story level. Then we went through the city of danger for the third mission. We stole a van from the guards and bashed through the gates to get our achievement for beating the third story level. We ended up trapped in some caves and had to figure out how to escape. And when we did, guess what guys? We got an achievement for beating the fourth story level. <laughs> then we had an insane battle while driving along the road with these goons. So we had to obviously destroy them. Then we had to take control of their vehicle and keep on pushing up until we eventually made it to the end where we got our achievement for beating the fifth story level. And then I got this unexpected achievement called He No Nuts, He's Crazy for smashing 250 Lego objects. Pretty random, but there we go. And then I got another unexpected achievement for destroying 200 bad guys. Then we defeated some sailor looking guy to complete the sixth story level. And of course we got an achievement for that as well. We had to get the old Jumbo Jet 5000 booted up to take off and complete the seventh level for an achievement once again. Now this was bloody serious lad because we nearly got trapped by this spiky roof that was coming down on top of us. But guess what? We just about made it through to the other side to complete the eighth story level for another achievement. Then we had this boss fight against some dude and we defeated him by using these statues to burn the platforms and then he would stand on them. So we just did that a couple of times and he was done for. So we got our achievement for completing level 9. But then we had another boss fight right after and this guy was throwing boulders at me. So I started chucking dynamite back at him, right? And of course I got the better of him. And we beat him, completed the 10th level for another achievement. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! The next level had us escaping through mines on minecarts, which was kind of like that Wario level in Mario Kart Wii. So I had some major flashbacks of that fast just bumming me off the roads. Anyways, we made it out and got two achievements, one worth 40 gamer points for completing a level without dying, which I just wasn't trying to do, but I did it, so we got it. And then another four, completing level 11, which was called Escape the Mines. And then we have another boss fight and we had to beat him by collapsing the bridge with us and him on it, which was very risky, but we managed to hang on and he fell into some hungry alligators. So rest in peace to that bloke. Anyways, we got an achievement for beating the 12th story level. Very nice indeed. Now for this next achievement, we played in a boat which had me pooing my pants. We had to take down this guy in his boat to, I guess, defeat the boss in this purpose. But I hate levels where you have to be in a boat or a plane. We saw it in Lego Batman. We saw it in Lego Star Wars. But this was the only time in Lego Indiana Jones where you just weren't on the ground so it was very very good because it barely happened but for this occasion it had to happen and we eventually beat him and got the achievement for completing level 13. In the 14th story level we stumbled across this secret staircase <laughs> and fell down it. And that's how that level ended, giving us an achievement for beating that level. Then I accidentally blew up Indiana Jones while playing as Jones Senior, which ended up being an achievement. So that was very lucky and very random. I mean, it's one of them ones where I could do it at any time, so it, you know, I didn't need to do it, but I did it accidentally anyway, so there we go. And then I finished that level, which was the 15th story level for another achievement. Then we had to chase away this bunch of doves to complete the 16th story level, which was actually a very chill one because there wasn't as much combat, which was very nice. Now this was flipping unreal, guys, because we had an epic showdown for this boss fight on top of cars. And when we beat him, we finished the second to last level. That is right, the second to last level for 
an achievement. And so we make it to the last level in the game, level 18. To finish the story, we had to find the grail amongst the gold and drink from it to give us immunity to gingers. And with that, the LEGO Indiana Jones story was complete, giving us our final story related achievement. Hooray! Round of applause everyone! Oh. So with the story officially done and out of the way, it was time to move on to step 2, which was to play through all of the levels again. Which is just amazing. But this time in free play, to collect all the mini kits and the red bricks. And during the first level, once again, I got an unexpected achievement, but this time it was for destroying 50 creepy crawlies. And then we got yet another unexpected achievement for digging 50 pieces of buried treasure. And then we got another unexpected achievement, oh my god, for destroying 50 objects with a bazooka. And then we got, oh! And then we got another unexpected achievement for using a thuggy statue 20 times. And then, oh my god, we got another unexpected achievement for building 250 Lego objects minutes after the last achievement. Oh my god, it's all happening so fast. And then that was it. All right, and here we are at the Temple of the Grail, the last free play level we gotta do to get all of them mini kits and the last red brick, which is actually a red post box office Box? Parcels! That's what they are! The parcel detector! Parcel tongue Harry Potter! <laughs> oh! We got a wee thing to dig here. Hang on. Get the shovel out. Hey, chunk! Oh, it's a parcel! No way! So our first thing to do is gonna be to post the parcel through the, the post box. And that is our red brick, so... That's a good thing to get checked off right off the... the... There we go! Eh, 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 eh. And we are through, right? To the other side. <laughs> oh, a thuggy statue. Yes, hello. Please do something that'll get me this mini kit. Come on. Uh. Okay, build that up. It's a picture of a mini kit. And then just break it. No? Ah, yes. Okay, there we go. Right, we gotta stand on the letters, I guess, that are glowing. I E. H O Is this a Ouija board? V A H Okay, oh, what was that? Like, I-V-O I-V-O I Someone told me to check my messages I think, I think they've messaged me They have? They have? Whoever made that board? I-V-O I I so I so Oh my god, what is it? It's a secret message? That's what, it's, it's, it's a part of the game? What does he say? It's a clue! Indiana Jones the end! It's a secret message. Where's the question mark on this thing? Is that a Pokemon? Uh, Spanish one? No, no, no. Keep it nice and simple. Alright, let's send on the message. Let's see what he says. We gotta crack the code. <gasps> He's messaging me back! I so green! Here we go! The answer! The next YT video? He's right. This is the next YT video. <laughs> right, where is a torch at though? Because that's what I need to succeed. And if I don't... <coughs> Commissioner Gordon! Bottom left. Yep. Bottom left, middle left, right, right, left, left, left! What's the styles, eh? And boom! There we go. All of the mini kits and... The red parcel has been collected, which means we are safe to leave and we get 40 gamer points for getting an achievement for getting all the artifacts in the game. That's all the artifacts and there it doesn't give me a chance. All right, go this one. Another 40 as well for getting. Uh, uh, oh, no, that. No, okay, the first one. <laughs> I like PlayStation Matter because of this reason alone. Okay, so first one was for posting all the parcels. Red bricks done. Second one for collecting all the artifacts. 80 gamer points for doing all that. Love to see it. Mini game, mini game, mini game. All right, so the next thing to do is going to be to play bonus levels to get our studs up and to, you know, make more progress to that 100% mark because there are bonus levels that you have to do. All right, then we set the key down. Pick this up. Put that there. Uh, 30 Ds! Got lost in his own museum. 
for unlocking a secret area in the museum. Okay, a nice wee achievement right there as well for just like getting access to the bonus levels. Okay, then take the key and then stick it in there real good. And then gotta return. Yoink, 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 yoink. And that is the first bonus level opened up. Young Indy, let's go! Got some dangerous looking jumps here, but we can manage that. Come on. Oh, and I'm, I'm sorry, man, if you get caught behind there, but. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, there's a lion! Oh my god! Uh, what do we do then? Whip it, wrap it up, and then put it in a, put it in a wet tile? I don't know. Uh, what's that? Oh, right in the booty! <laughs> you like that? No, 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 I'm sorry. Try it again, shall we? Uh, what's up? What's that? <laughs> you like that, B-boy? What's it? Oh, we're waiting, like the dee 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 dee. Away to the sunset, never to be seen again, and there we go. We get an achievement for doing the first of three bonus levels. This one was Young Indy. There we go. The second bonus level opens up the ancient city. Let's get it on. Okay, we do have free play characters for this one, which is pretty interesting. We obviously need... Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. One of these long, boring, stressful, terrible bonus missions where you've got to get a million studs by breaking literally every single thing. If you miss something and you can't find it, you are screwed. I can't. I might just follow a guide so I make sure I don't miss anything because the Lego Batman one was honestly disgusting. Two thousand years later. Yes, no, 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 yes. Hold it. Hold it. Remain! Remain! <laughs> oh, we plan? Yeah! So close. That's good, though, 650. If we get another wee plant, just lingering about here somewhere. What about these? No, something in here. Yes! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> but here's the funny thing, guys. There still is one more bonus level to be done. You, you, it just keeps going, doesn't it? It just keeps going. But it's only the last one now, so we'll get through that. And then we'll see what else we have to... I've been waiting a long time for your appearance to my show. Please take a seat in my museum of artifacts. All the artifacts I've collected over the years of my Indiana Jones prime time hunt and action are here to be displayed. That one's done. That one's 23 minutes, my ass. Warehouse. Here we go. <gasps> it's a free play one again. Uh, give me the bazooka. The bazooka guy's always the most reliable, you know. You call him up when you're in some deep danger. Cause he'll just, what is sh break everything. What is sh break everything. What is sh break your bones in half, my friend. Well, this is a time one is. There's two. Yo, check this out. Check this out. There's actually a little cheese spot. And it's this target right here. Big thanks to Happy Thumbs Gaming for showing me this one. He called me up on uh, on the old Facebook and said, yo, just do this and you'll get through it very fast. So watch. You just repeatedly spam this target. It never breaks. And you can keep doing that until you get a million studs. So the fact that Treyarch have put this in the game is amazing. Thank you very much. Now, there is no achievement, but I still assume this is a part of the 100%. Which there is an achievement for, as there always is. <laughs> so, that was just a very quick and easy way to get it done. Is this my classroom? Professor? It actually has a classroom? What the hell? What is this? Yo, sir, do we have class now? Is this English? <gasps> you gotta spell out the words. Alright, let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna get banned, I'm gonna get banned, turn that off. <laughs> Yo, sir, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, I... Oh, I'm just a class clown, I'm not gonna say, damn girl, you're getting all fasty. Oh, you're pushing me up into the corner? Is that how it's gonna be? I'm, uh, what am I doing? What, what am I doing? Poo treasure? What the hell is poo treasure? 
Jungle Guide, Major Top, more like Major Twop. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Put it down! Shh. Are you hissing at me, boy? Enemy Boxer? Wait. Who's this gonna be? John Fury! You shush. I'm running kind of low, but we should be near the end. Oh, f oh no! Oh my god! We might have messed it up. I might have to farm studs. Okay, there's two left. We definitely cannot afford them all, but I mean, yeah, okay. I literally can go into one level even with just times two studs and get enough. Like we're fine. So yeah, we'll just buy this one, and then I'll get 25k like instantly. It'll be fine. Let's build this up here. That'll give us a few pennies. And we'll put a penny, and we'll put a ping. It actually is quite slow. Ah, watch it. Ready? Jump. The <laughs> 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 squeaker by Jigger 5000. <laughs> Thank you very much. Done. We got enough. <coughs> Alright. Let's go and buy the last character. This is for an achievement. Will it get us the 100% achievement? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, last one, come on. This one's for all you. Oh, well, it's not the last one, is it? Though? Does that, is that DLC? Is that one of those weird ones? If this achievement doesn't unlock, then we've got to get him as well. actually serious and we're only on 87.9 percent by the way so we got something else to do because there's no way one character makes up like flipping 13 percent you having a hello sniper wolf you're outside my house what are you doing wait someone's saying it's han solo to be fair they've had some star wars references in this game, so that's kind of cool. Right, so apparently you gotta like find a whole bunch of Star Wars characters throughout the game. And then he also costs 100,000, so we gotta just get more studs. All right, so instead of farming studs, I actually had the genius idea to check if this game has cheat codes. And sure enough, it does. There's a code for the 10x stud multiplier, so I typed it in and sure enough, it worked. I went straight into a level and racked up enough studs very quickly to buy Han Solo. But I still needed to figure out how to unlock Han Solo. So here is what we had to do. We had to find five Star Wars characters hidden around the map. It actually did not take too long, so it wasn't that big of a deal. And the last character to find was R2-D2, believe it or not. So here we are, ready to buy Han Solo for 100,000 studs, the last character of Lego Indiana Jones, which should give us the achievement. Let's do it. There we go, 30 gamer points you two chose wisely for unlocking all of the available characters in the game. It's been done. Now back to the 100% completion achievement, which is really the big focus. I actually forgot about the true believers. They go towards your percentage. And now I only have one more true believer status to acquire, and it is on level four of the third chapter. All right, blue there. Oh, you see, already half, oh, oh, oh! Nearly there already, one more blue should do the trick. Let's go! Save an adventurer! We are safe to save an exit, and our achievement for getting all the true adventurers. Should be popping right about now. If there is one, I actually can't remember. But we still have to do it anyway to get to 100%, so it was a necessity. Is there not an achievement? Apparently not. There usually is in these LEGO games, but with this one, apparently not. So that brings us to 93.7%, and I think the only thing left to do to get that up to 100% is to buy all of the red bricks. Poo treasure, super screen, character treasure, regenerate hearts, invincibility, which is 1 million, easily the most expensive thing that we have to buy, but still, we're gonna have plenty left over. Still over 4 million. Treasure magnet, and last but not least, disarm enemies. Here we go, 30 gamer points for getting all of the extras. You cheat very big. Why, thank you, sir. And 100 gamer points for getting 100% in LEGO Indiana Jones. There it is. That is the ultimate achievement of LEGO games. When you get this one, you just, 
Like, that's when the hard work has been paid off, you know? The hard work, hard sacrifice of grafting away at this hard game <laughs> to get this hard achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah! So all that's left to do is miscellaneous achievements, which might be a bit tedious, but they shouldn't take too long. All right, so our first miscellaneous achievement will be to, <laughs> to uh, give 20 bananas to monkeys. So I got a monkey right here, and I'm just gonna keep on rinsing and repeating by throwing this banana up to him, he'll catch it. Okay, so he's gonna throw a wrench. I've gotta dodge that apparently, and then it'll despawn so that I can then give him another banana. And then just do that 20 times, right? Let's go! Wee! Wee! Show time! Oh, him in the head! <laughs> you only get one shot, so make it count. We will never get this moment again! I was hoping I wouldn't have to use that clip of me there, but it's gonna have to be that way. There we go, give 20 bananas to monkeys. It's been done, after like probably six or seven attempts, so not too long at all there, eh? All right, next up we have to use these archeology... span Let's go! You call this archeology? span Okay, that didn't take too long, actually. I don't know why I'm getting so excited, but I was getting a bit bored there, not gonna lie. But there we go. Use a scholar character's academic ability. Cinquenta tiempos. Let's go. All right, so for our next achievement, it's going to be a little bit tedious because... <laughs> we have to use this Super Scream ability 50 times to break glass like so. Here's the thing, though. I have not used this ability at all during my time with this game. Therefore, I've got to just keep on going back into this level over and over again until I do this literally 50 times. Big drop! Oh! Jesus Christ! Where's it gonna pop? <laughs> no matter what you're going through, no matter what day it is, no matter what city you're in, you will prevail! You just gotta keep grinding! This is it. On the drop. Here we go. The achievement will pop. I can feel it. Gather. Scream. And... Initiating phase two with Dimitri K. Let's go. Let's go. Turn it. Turn it off. Turn, copyright. Copyright. All right. That did take a while to be fair, but we got there in the end. Destroy 50 objects or characters using the Scream or Super Scream ability. I think that's a red brick we got. And she's a normal- All right, so we still have another, you know, do something 50 times kind of achievement because they are just so much fun. Oh, he slipped! <laughs> Let's clear out some enemies and then we got to repair things 50 times with this guy and his little wrench. So, this is something that you do quite a lot during the game. I will not have to do this, like, that often, but there's a nice spot here where, you know, you'll repair this. It'll go up and down for a while. Yes. And then, yep, it'll break, and we just do it again. Why am I smacking his bum? Oh! Oh my god! Again, I don't know why I'm getting so... No, don't share it! If this is, nah, if this was my... Don't put it on my Facebook! No! And we are not done with these kind of achievements just yet because I have to do this 50 times as well. You gotta knock on this thing. They're gonna be like, oh, eh? Yeah. You can come in. 
and then they'll open the door and that counts as one out of 50. Two hours later. This has to be it, come on. This has to be it. This has to be it. This has to be it. Please. Please. And... Oh my God. It actually was. You see that? I pre This is metal and I just hurt my knuckle off the metal. I predict things each and every time because I just feel that gut instinct. Access restricted enemy locations 50 times. All right, next up we have to destroy 100 snakes. And this seems to be the best level to do that. You get four at a time right at the start, rinse and repeat this process until we get 100. No way. Oh my god, no way. I thought this was going to take such a long time. I even turned off my camera because I wanted to save charge, but there we go. Next up, we have to do this 250 times. <gasps> we go for a ride. There it is, 20 gamer points. Oh! And here we are in the bar because we have to go from doing 250 whip swings to doing 150 whip grabs. So we do this, chuck it, and that's one. There it is, throw me the idol. Oh my goodness, perform 150 whip grabs in the game. Oh, it's so boring, I'm not gonna lie. This is getting very stale. I've lost all my energy, don't care. And for our last do something however many times achievement, we have to, what's Disarm 100 enemies using the whip. So we've got a good spot here where enemies just Fuck off. Uh no. No. Ooh. Why am I missing every shot? Holy shit! Uh Thank you. So we move from one painful achievement to potentially another because we have to blow up five enemies with one explosion. So the only way to do that is to really bunch them together by doing this, which is interesting. Hopefully this is gonna work out. But why is this an achievement? Like why? One, two, three, four, five, right? No, you stay, you stay. And then we got the Bazooka Trooper right. So we do this, what? Right now, you stay all the way back there, you stupid son of a... What are you doing? Go away! Right now... Go for it! He survived! The last one survived! Right, is that good enough? I think that's good enough. Ready? And go! Let's go! 40 gamer points for blow it up. What a dumb achievement, like seriously. What is that? All right, we're gonna grab a couple of easy achievements, thankfully, where we have to destroy Indiana Jones as Lao Che. How do we select Lao Che for the second guy? Oh, you don't? Oh. What? Lao Che, yes, yeah, so we have to destroy Lao Che with Indiana and then destroy Indiana with Lao Che for two separate achievements. Uh -huh. Very easy, as long as we get Indiana Jones, we do, right? Watch this. Boom! 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 Okay, goodbye, Dr. Jones. Switch character and then. What do? What do? Ish, 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 ish. Boom! 40 gamer points right off of the start of the level. Yes! Right, it is now time to create a custom character for an achievement. And to do this, we went the wrong way already. Yeah. This is good. Tatty Allen. Tatty Allen. What a woman! Right, that's all I need. So, Tatty Allen has been created. If we just go back... There we go! Hey, you call him Dr. Jones. Whatever that means. 20 gamer points for making a custom character. So we only have two more achievements to get to 100% Lego Indiana Jones in all of its glory. This one is very interesting. We have to use our whip to kiss Marion, Willie, and Elsa. Yes! Oh my god, yes! 
Right, that's only one out of three, though. I thought that was it. That's bang on! Yes! Oh. Two out of three, and that one only took a few tries, so thank God for that. And last but not least, we got a whip. What's her name? Uh, Elsa, that's right. No, not you, Bodie. Do you move, old man? Oh, your fair ass. Oh my god! We actually did it so quick! How dare you kiss me? 15 gamer points! I'm spinning everywhere. Alright, so that brings us to the last achievement for LEGO Indiana Jones. What is it gonna be? Well, we have to smash 20 objects over enemies' heads. And in this room right here, we can have unlimited bottles to smash over enemies' heads. But first things first, we have to actually make enemies spawn in. So we'll go up here with the old magician, Harry Potestrus. Has she got no pants on? You can see her booty cheeks! Lego booty cheeks! We're getting so close, so I can feel it. I can feel that achievement brewing. Oh my god. Hey sisters, it's Jane. Yo. No. There it is! Oh, it breaks the heart. 15 gamer points. And that, my friends, wraps up Lego Indiana Jones. We have officially got every single achievement that this game has to offer. Look at that. Nothing left out. Nothing missed. We have done it. 1,000 gamer points out of 1,000. The 100% mark. It has been achieved. Anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed this journey to get all the achievements in LEGO Indiana Jones. If you did, make sure you drop a soggy old like on the video for me. Subscribe if you're new. I feel sick now after just saying that. So it just reminds me of soggy Weedabix, you know? Soggy curry. Chundering in the mornings. Disgusting. Subscribe if you're new for more achievement hunts, platinum grinds, all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.